Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 29th of March, Wednesday of the week of Lent 5, the reading John Wycliffe, 1320, 1384. I thought about skipping this, quite frankly. It talks in some respects about the life of a pastor, a preacher, in a way that is challenging and for some of us perhaps impossible. But if you know the difference between a direction and a destination, well, let me simply read what he has said. The pastor has a threefold office. First, to feed his sheep spiritually on the word of God, that through pastures evergreen, they may be initiated into the blessedness of heaven. The second pastoral office is to purge wisely the sheep of disease, that they may not infect themselves as others as well. And the third is for the pastor to defend his sheep from ravening wolves, both sensible and insensible. In all these, the especial office of the pastor seems that the sowing the word of God among the sheep, God ordains for a good reason, that by the teaching of the pastor, his own manner of life, his preaching to his sheep, may be made efficacious, since this acts more effectively than mere preaching. The life of a good pastor is of necessity a mirror to be imitated by his flock. The highest pastor could not depart from righteousness in deed or word for this reason, his life and moral example are, as it were, a vital spirit to be attended by individual Christians and especially by pastors who say that they are the vicars of Christ. As a sign of this, because life and work ought to precede word in the pastor, righteousness of life is necessary in anyone who would be saved, but eloquence of preaching is especially necessary in curates. For no one, either an infant or a feeble person, can be saved unless his life, according to the righteousness of Christ, be found just through his grace and the prayer, George Matheson, 1842-1906. O thou divine spirit, that in all events of life art knocking at the door of my heart, help me to respond to thee. I would have my heart open at all times to receive thee, at morning, noon, at night, in spring or summer, winter, I am the door, knock, and I shall open unto thee. And blessed Lord, thou art the door, the door to truth and life and love and joy. Thou art the door of God. I do not need to knock. I need only to come. And thou art worthy to receive me. Thou art the door at home my home with God forever, my home in God here today. Give me grace to enter into thee and through thee now. Amen.